Welcome uh, to Absolute Value Inequalities with, uh, with another step included in it. Sometimes there's a step uh, outside the inequality and sometimes there's a step inside the inequality. But hopefully as we go slow, uh, work through a couple of these, they'll, uh, they'll make sense. I'm Mr. Larson. I'll be doing numbers uh, 1, 2, 5, 6, 10, and 11. Feel free to uh, pause, repeat, skip ahead uh, as needed. As you do all of these, uh, one hint that you have is you can check when you get your final answer if it shows up on the number line. And if not, then maybe you can go back and see and try to get an answer that does show up on the number line. Okay, one and two. I'll start with number two by subtracting three from both sides. Twelve minus three, use a calculator if you like, and the absolute value of r is less than or equal to nine. So that means with the less than, the less than is an and, so it's going to be r is less than or equal to 9, and where the negative of that is less than or equal to 9. So I just either that or the negative of it because of the absolute value. Sometimes you'll see it. I'll write it at the bottom of the way you see it sometimes written. First, I'll solve for this. Divide both sides by the negative 1. And r is less than or equal to 9, and r change the inequality greater than or equal to negative nine. And sometimes with and, you see them written where the r is just written once. And the inequalities are written that way, and then you combine this inequality with it to the negative nine. And that makes it easier then also to write it in interval notation in just a minute. So everything between nine and negative nine and this equal to means it's gonna be a filled in circle. So from nine right here, and to negative nine, right there. And fill it in. If it was only one of them, it'd be narrow off in one direction, off in the other direction. But the and means we only want the, the intersection. So then to write the uh, interval notation of that, we want negative nine to nine. Whoa. Negative nine to nine, there it is. That is the solution set. The reason I waited on number one is because uh, with these negatives, it's gonna turn us around a couple times. Divide both sides by negative three, so that the absolute value of B, you have to flip the inequality when you do that. So when all the numbers less than or equal to, negative nine divided by negative three is just plain old three. Okay, this is another and problem. So it's where the B less than or equal to three and where the negative of that is less than or equal to three. Getting rid of this negative, dividing both sides by negative one. B less than or equal to three and B turn the inequality greater than or equal to negative three. And again, you'll see it sometimes written where B is all by itself. That number is bigger than or equal to negative three plus than or equal to three. And just rewriting both of these, we're just writing them as one expression, you know, inequality, one row of inequality. So just like this one, we've got equal to, so it's going to be filled in circles, and it's going to be everything between negative three and three. Between negative three, I'm up all the way up to, oh, and at three, and everything less than. And when it's a less than or equal to to the inequality, it's an intersection. And the interval notation of this intersection is from negative three to positive three. There's the solution, the graph, and the interval notation. Okay, uh, if we look at number five, a little more complex because it's inside the inequality. So we just rewrite it. It's a greater than, so it's going to be an or. It's going to be a union. So negative 8k, that's going to be greater than or equal to 48. Or the negative of that is greater than or equal to 48. So to solve these, I'll start in here. Divide by negative 8. 
and k with the inequality less than or equal to negative six or another option that works is negative times negative is positive plus just a positive 8k greater than or equal to 48 and divide both sides by 8 k is greater than or equal to 6. So this or this both works. I want the numbers less than or equal to negative 6. There's negative 6. So less than or equal to negative 6. Or another solution that works is when it's bigger than or equal to 6. Bigger than or equal to 6. Now to find the union or the interval notation written with both of these, the union of them, this includes negative six all the way down to negative infinity that we don't reach. And it also includes six all the way up to positive infinity that we don't reach. Okay, number six. Same type of problem, a little less negatives, but uh, either this number less than three, so m divided by five less than three. The less than, that means it's an and, it's gonna be an intersection one. The negative of that less than three. Those are the two options. So times both sides by five. And M is less than 15. And negative five, multiply both sides by negative five. M for inequality greater than negative 15. Sometimes you'll see it written with the M in the middle between 15 and negative 15. There's the solution. And there's no equal to, so it's gonna be open circles on 15 and negative 15 and graph everything in between. There's the solution, the graph, the interval notation. It does not include either number on the end but it does include the 15 and the negative 15. Okay, 10 and 11. On 10, can I go ahead and just multiply both sides by three real quick to get the absolute value of negative 10a being greater than nine? Is that all right? So that means that negative 10a is greater than nine. The greater than is an or, the other option is that the negative of that is greater than nine. Those are the two possibilities. Divide by negative 10. So we get that A with the inequality is less than negative nine tenths. Or another option to that, let's see, that's just uh, 10. A greater than nine. So I divide both sides by 10. A greater than nine tenths. There's the solution. Upon finding that less than negative, let's see, there's negative one. So it's almost negative one, not quite negative one. So it's not including just a little below it. And A greater than 9 tenths. There's the 9 tenths. Like so. There we go. Solved it, graphed it. Now we uh, have to write the interval notations. There's going to be two interval notations. Your means it's a union. It doesn't include negative infinity. And it also doesn't include 
negative nine tenths. On this side, it doesn't include nine tenths and it doesn't include positive infinity. Okay. And this last one, number 11, do minus three from both sides, then the absolute value of negative 2n becomes less than or equal to 16. So either this item is less than or equal to 16, the less than means an and. So the intersection where the negative of that is less than or equal to 16. Working those through, divide by negative two, you have the M with the inequality is greater than or equal to negative eight. And negative times a negative is positive, so that's just two M less than or equal to 16, divide by two M less than or equal to eight. And again, sometimes you'll see it written out with the M in the middle, less than or equal to eight, and greater than or equal to negative eight. So it's between eight, negative eight, we have filled in circles. There's eight, there's negative eight. Filled in. The interval notation of that becomes inclusive of negative eight and positive eight and your set. So there's six, uh, you can work through the others and uh, check the answer key. I'll finish off the, uh, the answer key here and uh, post that. Have a wonderful day, everyone.